Hi there, my name is Ronan Dalton and I work as a cloud advisor with IBM in Ireland. In this tutorial I outline the steps involved in building a Python web application into an Ubuntu based Docker image. I then push the Docker image to a private repository on Bluemix and finally I run a container on Bluemix based on the image that we've just pushed into our private repository. Uh, well, that's a good start. I'm sure you're asking yourself what's uh, particularly cool about this tutorial. Um, well, to start with, the Python web app is actually built using the Softlayer Python API to create a simple standalone uh, Softlayer web portal. If you look online, you'll find a web app on GitHub that's named Slick. Mm, that's actually a reference implementation for using the Softlayer Python bindings, so the Softlayer Python API. Um, I've created a Docker file to build and install all the prereqs required by the Slick application onto an Ubuntu based Docker image. Um, my Docker file I've shared on GitHub in a repository that I've called BlueLayer. Um, so, to answer your question earlier, what's interesting about this tutorial? Well, I guess uh, in this one tutorial, I've combined the topics of Softlayer and Docker, um, IBM containers, and Bluemix. So, um, I for one think that that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, so let's get started. I should say I'm working on a Mac. Um, so the tools that I've already installed here, I have the Docker toolbox installed on my machine. I have the IBM Cloud Foundry uh, command line interface and I also have the IBM Containers command line interface installed on my machine. Um, I've launched a Docker terminal window here um, and we'll work with this window now to um, to build our, our Docker image. So so to get started we'll pull down uh, the Docker file from my blue layer um, repository on GitHub. So let's uh, get going with a git clone um, https colon slash slash uh, github.com slash rodalton slash blue layer dot git okay so let's clone down that blue layer repository to our local machine and then we'll cd into the blue layer directory that's just been created and we'll ls minus la to see that we have the files um, from that repository on our local machine and we do and that's the docker file there that i mentioned earlier that uh, we'll use now to build an Ubuntu based Docker image that will uh, contain when it's done that slick web application which is actually the web app that is a reference implementation for working with the Softlayer Python API. Okay so let's uh, build our image from the Docker file docker build minus t um, blue layer latest and dot. Okay. Okay, so this uh, Docker file will run for probably a couple of minutes. So let's let this process complete before we uh, move forward. Okay, so we've just built our image using the Docker file that we've pulled down from the blue layer repository. You'll see some warnings as that script runs, but there's nothing to be concerned about there. Just leave them, uh, leave the script run through. Um, okay, so we have the local image now, um, and I guess what we should do before we move forward is just run a container from that image just to be sure that all is all is good. So let's uh, let's run a Docker uh, Docker run minus um, minus t minus p to allow us access the web app on port 5000 um, minus i blue layer latest blue layer latest okay and that will create a container from the image and the way I've built the docker file is that when the container is loaded it launches the Python web app which is the soft layer web portal built with slick so let's verify that slick is running locally then on a local machine by accessing this url and it is i can already see that the web app is up i'll log in uh, using my soft layer credentials so if you remember what this web app does is it accesses soft layer via the soft layer python apis and so i sign in here as though i'm signing into the soft layer web portal only i'm signing into this standalone sample web portal. So I'll use my software credentials to log in. 
and when I log in, um, I should see uh, some details of the environment that I have running in Softlayer at the moment, and I do. And you know what? I'm not going to go through uh, what's here now because I'm happy that this is running, and I'll go through the detail there once uh, we push this image into Bluemix and uh, run the image from there. So I've just pressed Control C to um, to uh, to kill that container that I've just that I started a moment ago. And what we should start to do now, I guess, is prepare our environment to push this image into a private repository on uh, Bluemix. So I mentioned I have the Cloud Foundry command line interface already installed. So I'm going to do a CF login to log in firstly to Bluemix. So I'll log in with my Bluemix credentials here, uh, ie.ibm.com. Um, my username and password, uh, and into my dev space. Once I'm in here, I'll do a CFIC login, so that's a log login into the um, IBM Containers command line interface. So I run this one. Okay, and we're logged in there. Um, when working with containers in Bluemix, your private repository will reside at a given namespace. Uh, when you first access, you'll be asked to provide a name for that namespace. Um, if you don't know what that is, you can get that name um, via this command, cfic namespace, namespace get and I can see that the namespace used with my private repository is Row Dalton. So what I'm gonna do then is um, get the ID for the local Docker image, Docker images. So this is the one that I just created a moment ago, and that's this ID. I'm gonna copy that guy, and I'm gonna tag that image, Docker tag, uh, that image uh, with the following registry dot ng dot bluemix dot net slash rodalton slash blue b l u e l a y e r uh, latest l a t e s t okay let me just check that docker tag id registry dot ng dot bluemix rodalton blue layer latest okay so we've tagged that image and next we're gonna push that image docker push uh, and in fact, I can use this string here, control C, control V. And I'm going to push this local image now to my private repository on Bluemix. So this process typically takes a couple of minutes um, to upload the image content to Bluemix. So let's uh, leave this one work through uh, to complete. Um, and we'll pick this up in a moment once done. Okay, so let's go ahead and log in to the Bluemix web UI from uh, Bluemix.net. So I'll click the login button here and I'll enter my credentials to log in. Click continue and my password is. And click login. Okay, so once I log in to the Bluemix web UI, what I'd expect to see um, under the catalog is my uh, image that I just pushed from my local machine into a private repository on Bluemix. So let's go into the catalog. And from catalog, let's go into containers. And yep, I can see my blue layer uh, image is now available uh, to me to create a container from. So you'll see uh, the set of images that are available out, out of the box um, with Bluemix here, and they're provided by IBM. Um, and then you'll see this guy here with this um, purpley pinky color, uh, blue layer, um, which is an image from my private repository on Bluemix. Okay, so let's go view more to create an image, for, or rather, sorry, to create a container uh, from the image. Okay, so we can leave the space as dev. I'll give it a container name, so I'll call it something like um, soft layer portal. I don't know, software portal. Um, I want to be able to access the web app running 
in this container over the internet. So I want to assign it a public IP. Um, I've been testing with this environment already and I've already requested a public IP from Bluemix, so I have this one available to me here. Or if you haven't already requested a public IP, you can go and select Request and Bind Public IP, uh, which will go and request a public IP from Bluemix for you and assign the public IP to your container. And with my free account of Bluemix, I have um, access to just two public IP addresses. So I've one already here, but you know what? I'm going to, uh, because I figure most of you won't have one of these IP addresses available to you already. I'm going to say request and buy in public IP. Um, and when I created my uh, image earlier, uh, our image earlier, uh, if you look in the Docker file that we use, you'll see that I, I told um, Docker to expose uh, port 5000 for uh, this particular image. And so that's the port that'll be uh, listening uh, on behalf of our Python web app. Um, that is uh, the software web portal. Okay, so I think uh, we should be good to go to click on create, to create a container from our uh, image. And this might take a moment to complete. Okay, when you see the your container is running message on your Bluemix web UI, you should be able to go ahead and access the um, slick uh, web app, the Python web app that's running in our container by simply clicking on this uh, link here. So I click this link here, it should, yep, great, good, it does. It takes me off to the public IP address that I've got from Bluemix on port 5000, and you'll see that this is a very, the very same uh, web UI that we looked at earlier when we ran this container um, uh, on our local machine. So uh, again, this is my software credentials that I'm using to, to log in here. Um, and this time we'll take a little bit more of a look in and look around at the um, software web portal built with Python. So let me enter my password for software and log in. Um, and cool, we're in. So good. Uh, so at this point, we've got you know really as far as we wanted to get to with the tutorial. We've taken you know um, uh, uh, or we built rather a, a Docker image that uh, is host to a Python uh, web app that is essentially a web portal into Softlayer. Um, we've uh, taken that uh, image and we've um, tested it locally and then we've gone ahead and we've pushed it into Bluemix and we run it in Bluemix as a container and now we have a publicly accessible uh, web portal for software. So a quick look around at what we can do with this web portal. It is very much just a sample, a reference implementation and in fact not everything works. Um, I have just one single virtual machine running in software at the moment and I just provisioned that actually to um, show you uh, some of these um, um, widgets with data in them because if you've nothing in software then all of these just appear as blank but you know I can go in and I can through compute look and see that yep you know there's the machine that I provisioned earlier it's running in the London data center I can perform actions on the machine I can view more details maybe on that virtual machine um, you'll see that I've built or provisioned just the smallest virtual machine that I could get with one gig RAM and one virtual CPU um, but you know, nonetheless, this is actually real data that's being pulled from software via the software API. Um, some of the other detail in here uh, works too. Some I found uh, is not working like it should. The source code is available um, on GitHub for Slick, so you know you can go and you can take this as a foundation if you want to build out your own uh, web portal for uh, software. So with that, you know, I think we've gotten as far as we wanted to get with this tutorial. Again, I mentioned you know what's cool about this tutorial at the start, um, and I talked about you know c including software and Docker with Bluemix and IBM containers, and I think that that's quite a mix. Um, okay, I'm going to sign off now. I hope you found this useful. Um, if you want to get in touch, you'll find me at on Twitter at Daltonology, and my name again is Ronan Dalton, and I work as a cloud advisor with IBM in Ireland. Thank you.